plasmids can be classified into two major categories that is conjugative or non-conjugative plasmids so conjugative plasmids are those plasmids that can be transferred from one bacterium to another bacterium by a process which is called as conjugation so plasmid dna jo hai wo donor se recipient mein shift hota hai and hopefully you are well familiar uh, with this process of conjugation and this process it is mediated by those plasmids that contain a region of the dna which is called as a tra region that contain uh, the gene that uh, can mediate the transfer of plasmid dna from the uh, donor to the recipient whereas uh, those plasmids that uh, don't contain tra genes that can facilitate the transfer of plasmid dna they are called as non conjugative plasmids so this is one of the classification by which you can divide plasmids into conjugative plasmids or non conjugative plasmids another classification it is based upon the copy number of the plasmids that how many copies of the plasmids they are present in a particular uh, bacteria are microorganisms so plasmids they may be high copy number or they may also be called as relaxed plasmids relaxed plasmid means that copy number it is high and on the other hand if copy number it is low then the plasmids they are called as the stringent plasmids so depending upon the copy number the plasmids may be called as the relaxed plasmids or high copy number plasmids or stringent plasmids that contain low copy numbers so those plasmids that mediate conjugation mainly they are high molecular weight and they are present in low copy number so this table indicates the properties of some conjugative and non conjugative plasmids of gram negative microorganisms so first plasmid it is col e1 having 4.2 megadalton size and it is an example of non conjugative plasmid so it is not involved in conjugation how many copies per cell they may be present it is around 10 to 15 plasmids and what type of phenotypic trait or beneficial trait it is introducing it is the production of col e1 antibiotic here another type of plasmid which is an example of natural plasmid it is rsf1030 it is also an example of non conjugative plasmids but having very high copy number that is 2240 and it contain the genes for ampicillin resistance similarly clodf13 it is a non conjugative plasmid having 10 copies per cell and it is also involved in the production of an antibiotic then r6k it is an example of conjugative plasmids but it is an exception as i told you that conjugative plasmids they contain low copy number of plasmids but r6k it is an exception because it contain high copy number of plasmids and at the same time it contain two selectable markers for ampicillin and streptomycin resistance so these are two antibiotics and then very famous example of f plasmids that can mediate conjugation and the copy number it is low then r1 it is also a example of conjugative plasmid and it can have multi drug resistance so it can resist variety of antibiotics and finally ent p307 it is also an example of conjugative plasmid 
and having copy number 1, 2, 3 and it produced toxin like antirotoxin that is mainly encoded by those genes that are plasmid encoded.